Well, a face you'll uh, be very familiar with these days, uh, popping to see us. But um, Archie, this time, uh, besides your strike that's coming up, and yes. uh, that's fine. Um, I, was, I was interested in your feedback that you were giving on Twitter about the climate change coalition that's been put together. And we did an interview about that a few weeks ago, Ralph Peak, and yeah. uh, we're doing it. Anyway, they picked their people. But you, you've got a slight issue with the people they've picked or the, the range of people they've picked. Yes, as the Isle of Man Student Time Network, we put in a uh, request to be the key stakeholder for the student community. And we have previously, it confused us why we're not then selected, because we are previously um, on the key stakeholders for the uh, stakeholder workshops and for the targeted engagement for Climate Bill. We met with Professor Curran, and it seems to be quite interesting in getting students involved. And we're more than happy to work with the student representative currently. We're in contact with them, they seem to be wanting to engage with us to kind of get our opinion, but it's not representative. And they've also raised the, the issue with us that the Climate Change Forum is not representative of the people of the Isle of Man. Is this just an oversight, do you think, or did something go wrong? Because, I mean, you, you, you clearly got an interest, and you, mm. and you applied, yeah. I presume. You did apply. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have to physically yeah. put your application in, do you? Yeah. And there's 20% 20, 20 of the island's population from the 2016 census is under 18. And that there's no one on the forum who is under 18. We're not asking them to put two euros. But What's the youngest? The youngest is, I think, 21, 22. Right. And we think that's a blatant disregard from the government of kind of the youth's views. We've been out protesting and we don't want to be there protesting. We want to be able to engage with the government. We want to kind of solve the solution. We're all in the same boat. Yeah. And it's ultimately our futures are being affected by climate change the most and it's adversely affecting us. Is there any appeal on this at all? There's no um, kind of, you can't... You can't, you can't, you can't say, can't, excuse you can't, me. We can't say, no, no, we think you should mm. have more like five youth represent, yeah. five youth people on it. No, so obviously... Are you too politically active or something? I mean, I'm just trying to think of why, why oh. you weren't picked. <laughs> oh, it, 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 equally, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be me. It's, it could be anyone from the youth and we'd be more than happy okay. under 18. That's all, we're, all we're asking is they have more youth engagement in that forum because they're deciding our futures and they can't decide the fu their fu our futures without input from us. Yeah, I can see, I can see the mm. point. And it, maybe someone just didn't think about it through mm. well enough. I mean, if they came to you now, we, or, you know, so, would you still be interested? If of, of course, because yes. we, need, we need that youth engagement. What's your take though? Is there something different you got that older people haven't got then? Well, we have that kind of fresh view. We haven't got that kind of life's toils and woes and all of, all of that. We have that fresh opinion and very, the youth are quite renowned for having that straight opinion on, no, this is what we think is right. And our morals haven't been corrupted by kind of the, we'd say the scroungers of society, which is probably nonsense <laughs> anyway. Um, but we have that kind of fresh take on things. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. put plug that to one side and see what yep. happens. I mentioned the strike at the beginning again. This isn't, is this isn't a regular once a month now or whatever it's, it is? It's not regular. We, if we feel that is not being in that public eye, it's not being dealt with appropriately. We're, we're going to, we're quite happy to make our voices heard. It's, we're not going to be silent. We're going to be very clear that the government is still not doing enough. They're right. still blatantly re disregarding climate change uh, as such. They're still not being ambitious enough in order to achieve a better future for our island. Is there another way to go though, than just standing outside Timwald? I mean, what's your numbers like these days? I didn't get the last one. I mean, the last one we got about 50 or 50 so. Um, it's, it's, but we're, we're putting back up because COVID took a big, big hit sure. on us. Um, just wondering if there's another way now. You've done that. Is it you know, more well, interaction rather than just demonstrating? We are in the process of forming kind of a youth report and we're going to, we're reaching out to DEFA to kind of get them involved and on board with it to kind of give the youth opinion on climate change because it is our futures which need to be decided and we should have input in that. Okay. So we're going to be out again, obviously, to make our voices heard. We're, not, we're going to hold the government to the count in the best way possible by saying... We take a stand with our feet. We we want to go to school. We're not we're not there to be truants, as we have been called. We're there to simply say not enough is being done. We're asking for a 2035 carbon neutrality date, a complete divestment from fossil fuels, and more youth representation on the Climate Citizen Forum. Okay, well we'll be it's keeping in touch. Yeah. Um, December the 11th. More details. December 11th. Yeah, we'll um, be on our Facebook. Page. Before you go, I should remember yeah. that you, you do this podcasting and uh, you, oh, yes. you record it. Yeah. You're back with another new season. Tell us quickly about that. Yes, so that's uh, Political Babble is back for a th third season uh, up at Max Radio. We're Again, youth, youth run podcast. We're trying to get youth kind of engaged in politics and make it quite lively. So, this season we're going to be breaking down some political themes. So, if you want to know more about politics or how the government runs or topics from ranging from like liberalism to socialism, do go and have a listen. And there's a taste for that in the youth, is there? You, you have a yeah, group we, of people we've there. Got, we've got quite a nice listener base for it. Yeah. Um, 
and we're just we're just there to get kind of that initial thought about politics because politics decides the whole world around us. And when's that on Manx Radio? What time do they broadcast that? Uh, that's on Manx Radio uh, podcast. Oh, it's not broadcast? No, it's not broadcast. Oh, no. it's just on podcast. It's on right? podcast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They should broadcast it. Yeah, well, eventually. Don't they? Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. they don't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just assume uh, they did. And but... Obviously, we keep up to date with the climate news and Isle of Man yeah. Uh, yeah. news. Yeah. So, when's that? You're recording at any moment now, so it'll be oh, yes. available uh, ava- soon. Available soon, yes. Very soon. <laughs>